guys, welcome to our channel and welcome to today's property tour. I'm stood in front of a nine bedroom, brand new detached house here in Gerrard's Cross, Buckinghamshire. Um, and somebody's behind the camera. Hey guys. And we're gonna be showing you around the full house today. We're gonna to be doing a full tour. So it's on the market currently for 4.95 million and it's available with Sean Barrett at Fine and Country Richmond. So if you wanna find out any more information, make sure to contact him, but let's have a look around. So starting in the front, um, somewhere if you look over here, we've got the triple garage. And there's also a self-contained apartment above the garage. Yeah, so that's really ideal, but you can just see the size and how grand the property is. There's lots of parking around here, so it's accessed through double gates from the front, so it's completely private, which you'd expect. Um, so let's go through this entrance and start checking out the inside. Huge door, this doorway is pretty cool. The doorways are really, really thick and the windows as well, you've got triple glazing throughout. So let's take our shoes off and we'll head through inside. Okay, wow, what do you think to this entrance? So we've got a central staircase which comes up to the first floor. I'm gonna show you the ground floor first. So starting off through the doorway, we've got a um, area through here, which is just like a, a cloak shoe, room. cloak cupboard, yeah. Somewhere to keep all the shoes. And then heading through this way, we have one of the reception rooms, which is currently used as like a small living area slash workspace. Um, really nice interior design through here. You can see the triple glazing windows that I talked about. And the developer is actually living here at the moment. Yeah, that's so that's right. why there's um, some personal belongings. Yeah, and he's kindly let us have a look around, um, which is cool. But yeah, he's furnished it quite nicely. And you can just see how big this space is. And you know, I think in a house this size, the entrance hall is really, really important. Um, and this just sets it off. So come through here. Don't know if you can see wow. me in here, but we've got a whole movie room and the best part is the Rolls Royce. Rolls Royce style lighting, yeah, all throughout the ceiling, which means if you were just to come over, take a seat right in the middle here, <laughs> that is an amazing place, especially to have spent the last few months during quarantine where people were inside, what an epic movie room to just come and chill out. And it's actually a huge room, like this sofa is what, probably yeah. space for like 10 people, I would say. Yeah, he um, said this was know. an expensive room, wasn't it? Yeah, and I can <laughs> see why. You've got the projector. If you show up here, yeah. this is actually built into the ceiling. And I think it's, a, it's like a coffered ceiling, so it's set slightly below the main ceiling. And this whole unit comes electronically down. So when the cinema room is off, this fits flush up against the ceiling and just helps it feel really minimalistic. Yeah. Um, but you've got a huge screen here. I'm not exactly sure how big this screen is maybe we can ask him and put that on the screen or something and then you've got the surround sound system all the speakers throughout the ceiling as well just to give you that a real nice experience and so now we've got two ways to enter the living space but someone's going to show you that in a minute so stay tuned and I'm going to head over to show you the office the other side so just on the way to the office we've actually got the downstairs that we see through here and a lot of the finishings in here, well most of them really, are all custom and bespoke. Even upstairs, when we show you on the first floor, we've got some cabinetry all the way from Venice, so we'll show you that. But this is the office space. I wouldn't mind working from here. Yeah, not bad, is it? A huge table, loads of storage back here. You've got these triple glazed windows, and the windows actually have, see the blinds here? They're actually built into the window. And so yeah. if you can see on the screen here, if you see the, where the button is. Yeah, so the button is, if Matt, you click that and I'll show the blinds. You can close your blinds. Yeah. You touch your button. And it's little things like that that make the whole space more minimalistic rather than having the strings coming down. Yeah. And just going that extra mile on the finishes just really sets it apart. And they're all cupboards on the yeah. back wall. Yeah, I'm not going to open them, just got stuff in there. But yeah, you've got cupboard space all the way back through there. And then you've got lighting built into the ceiling throughout as well. Spotlights and then the AV system as well. I love the doors as well. These are really top end yeah, doors. Thick, thick doors. Really They've nice all got quality. locks on the doors too, so. Yeah, every room good. in the house. So another space here, like, you know, it's just nice to have lots of different yeah. areas in your house to just take a seat and relax and kind of just enjoy looking up there. You've got a huge skylight at the top, lets in so much natural light. Shall we go through the bar? Yes, pool room? let's head through the bar, yeah, good idea. Okay, 
And before we go back in, let's just show the electronic. Yeah, um, so you've got this, one of these on every floor, so three yeah. floors in total. And so you can ha access the camera at the front and open the gate remotely from this touchpad. So if someone arrives, there's a camera out there. So whether you're on the ground floor or even one of the bedrooms on the very top floor, you can um, access this, open it up and let people and in. And talk to them as well. For yeah, a bit, so you've got to talk in. So coming through to the cinema again, tempting to actually just sit and watch a movie, but we've got the rest of the house to show you. So I, this is the bar slash games room. So you've got huge table, snooker table here. Yeah. And then a bar area across this side with a variety of different drinks and bits and stuff up there. Again, yeah. perfect for these quarantine times where people have been staying at home and just a nice space to enjoy. It flows really well because you've got the open plan living space through there, double doors into this game room and then straight into the cinema. So it's kind of like a play area on this side of the house. And then it's quite bright. So you've got huge sliding doors. I haven't opened this yet, but let me try and see if I can. It might be locked. It might be locked. Might but be. this is the garden. Yeah. Um, so private, good size. Nice patio area and then grass as well. Yeah, love the flooring here as well. He's yeah. asking what exact flooring that is, but that's nice. Okay, so behind these doors <laughs> is the huge open plan living space. So someone's gonna go show you around there now. Okay guys, <laughs> we've just swapped. So that's the cameraman now, but this is incredible. Yeah. I literally was like, wow, as soon as I walked in. I think you'd spend the majority of your time here. So this is obviously the probably main living space. You've got the formal living room as well. So if you wanted to, you know, two different people want to watch TV. But these sofas are beautiful. Yeah, and they're huge as well. Yeah. Like, I don't know if that's picking up on the camera. Yeah, let me try this, and like... This furniture This is, is me. For, um, for you to see how big, I it's mean, quite dark. yeah, I mean, it's pretty big. Let me try to sit on this one. Yeah, and then you can see. If I sit here, <laughs> it's huge. <laughs> and then again, sliding doors to the back um, and coffered ceilings as well on the ceiling. Yeah, coffered ceilings with the aircon system built yeah. in throughout there as well. And the AV again throughout the whole property. And Sonos speakers throughout, so yeah. music on. And then coming back here, we've got... How many seats is that table? One, two, like? Eight seats. Eight seat table, yeah. What I've noticed in a lot of luxury properties, it's got the kind of dark, kind of furniture, dark vibes, which is really nice. It has, and, doesn't it? And then this is the kitchen. So there's Gaganau appliances. Um, I know lots of people say that I say the appliance name wrong, but this is called Gaganau. We're pretty sure we're getting that right, yeah. but let us know if not. I've learned how to say Siemens property properly. So um, yeah, I've got that. And this is a Sub-Zero fridge. It's pretty big. It's huge, isn't it? yeah. And then you've got a drinks fridge, Sub-Zero one as well, yeah. right next to it. And I love this. What would you say this? It's like a yeah. It's kind of like a concrete, concrete effect, isn't it? Effect. Yeah. And so obviously this is the main kitchen, but actually there's another kitchen which is like the prep kitchen. So if you're cooking with lots of spices and everything like that, you can cook in here and it not smell the whole um, open plan living space. Yeah, it's like um, a proper chef's kitchen in here. And I hob. think what's also key to mention is that this hob here. Um, yeah. is all gas and I know some people like having gas whereas you know the one in the main induction, kitchen over yeah. there is induction because it just looks more modern and minimalistic and sleek but yeah. having the gas one out here as well obviously some people prefer that yeah and anyway. these are quartz worktops yeah nice and thick but and I like the backsplash too but really nice and then this I think is little pantry yeah um, little pantry area and then you've got a Miele oven or Miele, Miele. Let me know no, what you Miele. think. Okay. I've been told it's Miele, but apparently it's also Miele. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. 
Um, and guys, if you're enjoying this property tour, please remember to hit the like button and subscribe. Um, we're nearly at 20K followers, so thank you so much for the support. But yeah, this is a pretty incredible room. Okay, so now we've seen most of, well, all of the downstairs. Let's head up to the first floor where five of the bedrooms are. So back through these double doors into the entrance and up the grand staircase. Okay, so coming onto the first floor, there's five bedrooms on this floor, and you've got this gallery landing space looking over the entrance. Great which space, is, isn't it? Yeah, it's beautiful. And then a huge skylight up there, which lets in loads of yeah. natural light. So there's actually another floor above us, but obviously you can't see the stairs at the moment. So I'm gonna leave that for you to guess how you get upstairs, um, but we'll show you in a second. So keep watching the video. Um, but this is the master bedroom. Look how small that bed looks in this yeah. room. Yeah. We'll put the floor plan on the screen. This is pretty big and these windows, they open like this and then also like this way. And you've got the blinds um, inside the window as well, like we showed you in the study downstairs. Um, but that's a cool feature. We've got his and hers walk-in wardrobes. So yeah, good size. This is the men's. One of men's. the two walk-in wardrobes. Or women's and women's, or yeah. men's and men's. Men's or men's, women's or women's. Yeah, dual wardrobes, not his and yeah, hers. That's it. And then this is. Press number one on the lights. There's there so many lights. Still learning about these lights. <laughs> this is the ensuite. So again, dual sinks. Yeah. So it's an Italian, Double shower. Italian ensuite. Yeah, so these. this is the ensuite we were talking about downstairs from Venice, Italy. So. Pretty beautiful. Yeah, um, nice bath, yeah. good size. Really nice bath. And there's actually a TV on the wall in this corner. Yeah. So you could sit in the bath and watch it from there. And then standing shower that side. And all of them as well, have you got- Electric. There. Yeah, you can press yeah. each so one and it turns on. Comes out of that one. Or press that one. So you, you can choose what it comes out of, which is cool. Big TV on the wall. Yeah, and then that's the other walk-in yeah. wardrobe, which is locked at the moment, but it's basically yeah. the same size as the other one over on the right-hand side. Yeah, okay. Which way should we go? So let's go to the right. Okay. Wait, this is my left, you're right. Yep. <laughs> okay, so another great sized room. We've got ensuite over here and another walk-in wardrobe. Yep. So all of the five bedrooms on this floor have their own en suites. Mm -hmm. um, we'll show you this. Another en suite. So Big shower, shower in this one. Um, but yeah, really nice style. I love these luxury houses. <laughs> okay. Now let's go to the next bedroom. Actually, before we go to the next room, this is the laundry room. So. And it's more than just a laundry dryer. room, it's like an apartment kitchen in yeah. here. Um, so it's got a fridge built in as well. Yeah, here's the fridge. You've got um, three washing machines, or yeah. one I think is a dryer. One there, I think it was like a cloth, a cloth washer. one in there. Um, but yeah, it's so much better having a laundry room on the first floor of the bedrooms yeah, as well. it doesn't make sense think. having it on the ground floor if you have the option. Yeah. Just because obviously this is where your laundry is. So yeah. we see quite a few houses in this range where the laundry room's built into the Downstairs. first floor. Because so. you take your clothes down to wash them, yeah. to just bring them back up. But yeah, cool little thing here. Now next room. Again, no. So, yeah, good size double good bedroom. Good size room and ensuite, so different tiles, but. All have got the same window. They're all yes. triple glazed and can all be opened in the same way Summer showed you earlier. Yeah, so you can open the top. I love the blinds, I think it's such a good. It is, isn't it? It's like having a light switch for the sun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can just shut it on and off that easily. Really cool, okay. Let's go across the landing to the next one. Got a space here for some chairs and a table and you can see over your driveway from here. This is the next bedroom, again with an ensuite through here. So the shower in this one is just round the corner behind the um, sink. 
Yeah. And you'll see as well, it's very minimalistic throughout yes. the whole property here. Yeah. So, you know, these rooms have certainly got space for a lot bigger furniture. Yeah. And they're getting new furniture and everything. That's yeah. why some of the beds don't aren't actually beds at the moment. So, okay, one last bedroom. Wonder if anyone's worked out where the staircase is yet, while you've been yeah. watching someone walk around. Yeah, let us know if you figured it out. Yeah. Okay, we'll go in the ensuite first. Again, bespoke cabinetry. That bespoke unit is from Venice as well yes. in Italy. Love this colour. Yeah, nice, isn't it? This Love is it. Big room, tiled throughout, big standing shower. Yeah. Yes. And you also got the AV system throughout here, the speakers and the air filtration. Yes. So you've always got fresh air throughout yeah. the property. I love mirrors with the LED lighting behind as well. This is another. Yeah, it could really be another master suite, room. you know, almost. Yeah. They're very similar size. The other one's just got the two walking this, wardrobes. Yeah, this is another walking wardrobe, yeah, but I think one. that's locked. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Huge room. If I come back here, you can see the full size. Yeah. So, you could even have a seating area or something in these bedrooms as well as just the bed. And now like we'll go- Like little apartments. Yeah, literally. Now we'll go to the um, next floor. So the family don't actually really use the top floor that much with bedrooms, because no. obviously there's five bedrooms on this floor. Um, but I'll pass over to Matt now um, and he'll show you the next floor. Okay guys, so we're gonna head up to the second floor. Now, some of you may have guessed, where does this door lead to? You can see that it's the only one that we haven't actually gone through on the first floor. So if you come through here, it opens up to a whole new staircase and it really is like coming home or coming up to an apartment up here like a huge penthouse apartment but access completely privately you've got a lock on that door so you could have it as something like that if you wanted to so you come on up we've got another skylight built in here there's actually a couple of these throughout the whole floor so it's really bright there's no um, led lights on at the moment and you can see how bright it is but you do have those led lights if you want to as well so yeah huge landing space where should we go first let's go yeah. into this room here so this is just a storage room at the moment. So it's got quite a lot of like their belongings and stuff in, but could be one of the nine bedrooms if you wanted it to. We've also got, as we talked about on the ground floor, the um, gate system here. So you can talk to people at the front door all the way from the top floor and let them in remotely as well, which is cool. So in a house this big, you pretty much need your own AV room. So this room is pretty much just dedicated to all of the technology in the property. Now, of course, this is still yet to be completely finished. This will look a lot nicer when it's done. I've got a big skylight up there, so a bright room. Um, but yeah, all your AV stuff built into there. You've got dual aircon uh, air units to keep this room nice and cool. Obviously in the summer, this room's gonna get very hot, which you don't want for all that stuff. So yeah, okay, so heading on down. The corridor. We have another double bedroom, nice size yeah. room. You've got aircon throughout these whole rooms as well, as well as obviously the heating. Two big skylights that can open up with that touch of that. Usually you have a pole, but I can actually reach it. <laughs> it's all right. There's a little cubby hole. <laughs> yeah, but a good size, certainly a big room. And then continuing through, you can see a nice overlook to the skylight at the top and then all the way down to the second floor and the ground floor up the grand staircase in the center of the property. So over to the left of me, we've got the um, second floor bathroom. So again, you've got a bath built in here and a standing shower, which goes all the way back there. And then the skylight, so there's no um, a natural light in here on at all at the moment. It's all natural light coming yeah. from the ceiling, but really nice size room. Then Matt's and favorite then, room. Yep, this is the best room. The one that would get the most use, and that's the gym. Uh, obviously this could be a huge master suite, but at the moment the owner's got it set up as a gym. So perfect for the last few months while gyms have been closed. Um, it's good that they're opening up in a few, actually tomorrow at time of recording, so that's good. But yeah, so you've got some cardio equipment here, some weights over this side, um, and then again, a skylight through here. But the layout of this whole space up here could be a really nice apartment. Yeah, like it's literally if you were a penthouse. To have, yeah, completely separate it. You could have a bedroom, a lounge, and then you've got your bathroom and everything as yeah. well. And then just through here, actually got one of the biggest walk-in wardrobes in the property. So this is a wardrobe the size of 
probably a single bedroom in a lot of normal houses. Um, yeah. So really good size aircon system up there as well, just to complement the bedroom. Okay, so that's the tour of the second floor. Now we're gonna show you outside. We're gonna check out the garden um, to finish up this tour. So Sam's gonna show you around and we'll go meet her outside. Okay guys, so now we're in the back garden of the property and you can see behind me how grand it looks. So we've got um, a house either side. However, the trees are pretty tall, so it is pretty private and not overlooked. Um, but yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed this property tour. And if you enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video. Dark. I've never seen you clearer than now We're flying high Floating somewhere up in the clouds We're going out of ourselves Can you feel it? Almost like I don't know